To set a stone is to secure it in metal, whether precious, semi-precious or steel, in any form. I would say the hardest part about working with binocular magnifier is to work without looking at your hands. Most of the time we're looking at the workpiece and the tool. We don't actually see our hands. When a piece comes to us for setting, it's already been laid out, meaning the position of each stone has been marked. We begin by roughing out the threads. As you can see with this thread, it does require a certain amount of strength. Each thread has to be cut to the same depth. Next we finish cutting the seats. We always cut them to slightly less than the stone's actual diameter. We work within very small tolerances of a hundredth of a millimeter. After this, we cut into the metal to form the grains. We then separate the grains. They will secure the stone in the setting. It's important that all the grains are of equal size. The graver has to be bright so that the finished setting is bright too. I smooth the grains to be sure there are no burrs. Each piece is as unique as the person who made it. Each individual has their own personality, their own signature style. We each have our own way of doing the thread work or beading a grain. More than anything, it is an artistic profession. So we cut into the metal, then seat the stones. It's important that the stones are the same height. Making sure they are absolutely level is one of the difficulties. Now we separate each grain in two. The grains will hold the stone, so they have to be equally balanced on either side. What I did there was to separate the grains that will hold the stone. And what I did there was to bead the grain as I shaped it, roll it over the stone. The round shape of the grain means it won't catch. It takes around 10 hours to complete a piece like this. Once a piece is finished, it's true that you're proud of what you've done.